YouTube world. Right, I'm going to come off the step ladders. I've been stood on this table. You are so high up. Can you hear me on record? Yes. <laughs> this is a 40 inch by 30 inch canvas, used canvas. This painting is are you, oh, there's dust from the ceiling all over this place. I've actually moved the ceiling tiles to get the camera up higher. <laughs> um, now, big announcement, big canvas. Let's deal with the canvas first. So, it just looks like a dog's dinner, doesn't it? But if you're going to use a big canvas, reuse a big canvas. This is Gamble. This painting is for me, for my lounge. So, this canvas was going to be put and skip anyway so if it's put and skip it's put and skip so <laughs> I just like to entertain people me <sighs> right so I reinforced the back with whatever I could get my hands on um, these are just the little artist canvas boards I've secured them with gaffer tape I can assure you <laughs> that I have tried many things so I'm just going to flip it over and if it works, I'll be amazed because it'd be take five, I think. It's quite heavy. Ooh. So, well, that's not too bad actually. So this is the like third or fourth time I've tried reinforcing it with different things and this so far seems to be quite good. I'd like to sand a few areas down. I'm going to give this a clean with some, with a bit of a ridge there, but you know what, I'm just going to let it go. Um, I'm going to give this a clean down with some alcohol, make sure it's not greasy anywhere. I might even give it a light sand over. Um, big announcement. Let me put some gloves on. <laughs> I've been dreading doing this, dreading giving this announcement. This is a sad announcement for me. This is the last painting that I'm going to be doing for a while. Today is the first Saturday in March. This is due to be aired towards the end of March, beginning of April. Um, I am been working really hard behind the scenes, scheduling in videos once a week. Now I only schedule videos once a week because I don't want, I want to keep things in the right proportion in my life. Family comes first, work, um, and then this. Now I've been on furlough from work so I have been able to do more painting. Now I, I am moving house and I am saying goodbye to my amazing studio and I have been spoilt rotten. I can't lie to you. I have been spoilt rotten with the facilities that I have had over the last few years, if, well, a lot longer than that actually. Um, and it's with great sadness, very great sadness, that I have to say goodbye. Not from painting, what we're doing, but from. But from my studio, now I'm moving to a house, we're downsizing, there's lots of people that have been hit by Covid in, in all sorts of ways, thank god that my family has escaped having Covid, but that might be, that might not be the case for some of you guys out there and my heart goes out to you. 
um, I have had some friends that have been extremely poorly. So it's affected us financially. I work for myself. I've been on furlough for quite a while. It's had its downsides. So we're downsizing to a smaller house with no studio. But the good thing is it does have some land with it. And I thought I was going to be able to have a studio built right away, but that's not going to be the case. Sadly, it, it just isn't. Um, oh, this is heavy. I don't know if I can hold this. Guys, I'm hoping by the time you see this video, I will actually have moved and I will actually have said goodbye, an emotional goodbye to this place. And I have slowly been clearing it out and slowly been throwing things out, getting rid of things. Um, it's going to be very, very emotional. I might even do a little blog of it all for times when I just have, can't get a video out for one reason or another. And obviously one thing I didn't think about was allowing a painting to dry. Oh, this is going to take a good couple of two, three weeks to dry properly. So I can't be painting in three, four weeks time and transporting wet paintings. <laughs> So, you know, I've had to really think hard and make a tough decision that this is the last painting that I'll do for a while. Having said that, you know, I might just, as I said, do a little story of the move. And then when it comes to building a new studio, do a little story of the new studio being built. So thank you for all your support. It's a really sad time for me, really, really sad. I am going to be painting from my new kitchen. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's brand new. It is so new, it has um, gloss white everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> and I'm going to be putting my table, my pouring table in the corner. I am going to be paring back quite considerably. I'm going to be paring back quite considerably with my equipment and everything. I said, tell me your story. Something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote I said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not, 
without an open I wrote in my story Then I kept walking on so worn out after that it's very busy looking i'm hoping it's not going to stay like that that colors will begin to flow into one another um so this the whole intention of this is to do quite a lot of work over the top with some uh brushwork to to put some trees in and things so it is only background but you can let me come off the step ladders. I really hurt my back when I fell. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting things happening there. So it's very busy, but I'm hoping that the detail with the silhouette foreground, when I come to do it, will knock that back. Oh. So, dried result. Sometimes it's really incredibly difficult to know what to put on YouTube. You always want to put your <laughs> absolute best work on there and make everybody think you're a fantastic artist. That's good marketing, isn't it? But I'm taking a risk with this one because this did not dry as, as expected, which on hindsight, it was never going to, but I get these crazy ideas in my head. So you can see that it all pulled in the middle there. And as I said at the beginning of this video, that unless you really have a professional, I suppose, reinforced canvas or think of a brilliant way of doing it, what happened was all the paint just spooled into the middle Still a little bit tacky because one of the reinforcements came out. So I should have really got something cut the same size and had it inserted. I won't be doing it again. So you can see here, focus, focus, focus. There you go. I've seen lots of posts like this on the internet and people ask, why did this happen? Well, obviously, there, there's always a number of factors. It's, it, sometimes it's never one thing. But I know that this, the light green here was a different pouring medium to everything else. So that, that's the first thing that will give you cracking. Okay, and I just, I did take a risk using it, I know. The second thing is, this is a used canvas, so it had no um, spring in it. it it was just too wobbly. And even though I tried to reinforce the back, one of them fell out because it was so heavy and there was so much paint on there. So that's another reason. Um, and the thickness of the paint is still tacky. That is another reason, obviously. Um, you can see that all this is beautiful. This stayed exactly as I left it, actually from the top to the bottom, on either side, if I go, and here, if I go 
here it's exactly exactly as I left it so this is a two-part video I'm taking a risk showing this but I hope it inspires you and I never did it I never did this as an, just as an acrylic pour. I'm doing this as a contemporary landscape. So stick with me. And um, thanks for watching.